Uh, we have a special guest. Very special. Uh, one of your dear friends, Mark Very Wallace. Dear. Mark Wallace is back. He, hey, he, Mark. He stopped by yesterday. Oh, wait. We got to plug we him in. Leora, can we in. get a plug in over here, please? Leora is going to gonna plug you in. But yeah, there's you, that. Uh, you stopped by yesterday, Mark, and we appreciated having you on the show. And since that time, yes. Please pull to the second window to make payment. Thank you. <laughs> I want a Wendy's. Order? Wendy's? X2. Would you yeah, like a what a size like that? Your countryman? Do you yes. like it? Did, did no. they say Wendy's size that? A what a size. What a burger. Do you know oh, what a burger? I've never been to a what a burger. I'm sorry. Oh, God. They have the ketchup of the gods there. Wait, they like oh, put something in it. Wait. Did you ever try their spicy ketchup? I have. Oh, they and put the breakfast Tabasco. burritos. First of all, their ketchup's the best ever, as you it mentioned. It is. I think they put sugar in it, actually. Something. Oh, Brown sugar for you. I think it's crack. It's, it's the most healthy place. It is. It's and a wait. little sprinkle of crack in this ketchup. But I said crack in a live uh, broadcast once. I got blue, in trouble for it, by the way. Blue crack? Yeah, Breaking Bad style. Yeah. Yeah, 98.9% <laughs> pure. Pure. It's awesome. <laughs> Whatever that, I don't know what crack is, but. I, I don't making, know either. We're making no. the folks in the chat room hungry. Oh, yeah, for crack? Well, what maybe kind of crack? audience do you maybe have? That doesn't make you hungry. That makes yeah. you lose yeah. weight. <laughs> Doesn't it make you like scratch at your skin? Gigi Something says like you're that? a legend. I'm a legend. By the way, I am a legend. Just in case you didn't know that. Thank you. What I love about what Mark does, he creates a lot of free content that just educates people. Tons. That makes it simple. You know what? I love the pinwheel one. I watched the pinwheel one. The I was program like, mode was one. Like, yeah. That is so simple. Not the program. The when you you took. Yeah, the, but it was about program, oh, that was mode program. On the Yeah, and then showing it, you just literally show it. Yeah. There's no. BS about it. Get out, you show, just it, show it, do it. Hey, yeah, it's very fun. Ngand 1254 says, hey, Mark. Hey. You got the X Pro 1? I have the X Mark. Pro 1 right here. And right now I have, I think, a 35 millimeter lens on it. I've got a 60 millimeter lens and a, a wide angle lens of some sort. But I love it because uh, normally at this event or any trade show, I'm carrying around either a D3X or a 1DS or something like that. And uh, this year I thought, this thing is awesome. It's very small. I can take it anywhere. It's got incredible low light performance. And so I've been shooting like crazy. And I'm actually shooting more with this than I ever did with any of my other you know, large cameras. Did you buy that on your own? By the way, Joseph says you Fuji have an incredible was, uh, ND filter YouTube video. Oh, thank Yours you. This is incredible. Thanks. I think Sorry, we go did. Back to I think we've done a couple indie filter episodes. Um, I'm curious which one he's talking about. Was it the outside freeway one, or was it the uh, shallow up the field one, or that one there was? Uh, oh, that was for. Um, I think it's either the yeah, that's the Sekonic, the new meter that came out. That video. There that you meter. Go. Have you seen it? I have the 478 DR. I did, why don't they just make an attachment for the iPhone and be done with it? Uh, that's a great question, but the iPhone isn't going to have the same quality. Of measurement, well, I mean, the controls. Make the measurement tool, and then boom, you plug in your iPhone, I'll and it is the brains. I'll call them up. Call them. Hey, Siconic, what's going on? No, but I think it's, uh, you could almost call that meter a pocket wizard meter with some Siconic stuff added on yeah. because of all the control TL stuff it has. But uh, yeah, I love it. Do you have a favorite lens for that camera? The 60 millimeter lens, but I, I'm not using that now. Because um, I mainly shoot portraits, and it's got amazing, the 60 has amazing, amazing bokeh. Um, the, the only thing I don't like about this camera is um, the LCD screen on the back doesn't really, it's not representative of what the... What you're getting. Yeah, what you're getting, so you have to totally trust the histogram. So when I first got this, um, A, it had some focus issues. It was a little bit slow. Yeah. And it sort of got, it took me a while to get used to that, but... I've shot with this in the Redwoods. I've shot with this in the studio. I've done commercial shoots. I've done all kinds of stuff with it. Um, and since I got it, they've upgraded the firmware. So it fa focuses about twice as fast as it did when it first started, uh, when I first got it. Um, and then it's sort of like, I mean, I had a, a Leica M9 for a while on loan. And I had to sadly send on it back. On loan. On loan for about a year. Hey, it's like a car. Before you move on, yeah. what's so great about Leica? I mean, they're expensive as hell, OK? It's sort of Are like, what's really so great about it? the Rocky Mountains? Like you can see pictures, or the Grand Canyon, and you think, oh yeah, that's cool, but it's a hole in the ground. But then when you go and see it, it's like, whoa. And that's the same kind of thing with a Leica. They so really look that much better. Like if I took a Leica out yes, and you took can pictures tell the with it, I'd be, I would be amazed it's by the glass. what I It's the glass. Is and that I, what it's, it is uh, a quality that, and, and you probably see samples on the web, like this is an M9 shot. 
but it's unless you see full resolution prints, sure. you just don't see the difference. Um, and the Noctilux, the .95. Yeah. Um, I held one of those. I had the opportunity to, to have one of those on loan, but I uh, declined because I didn't think my insurance would cover it if I broke it. A $12,000 yeah. piece of glass. It was That's nuts. amazing. I, I want to give one a try. By the way, uh, Joseph Jamal wants to know, does anyone want to bring a photography class to Lancaster, PA? Well, the funny thing about Lancaster, PA is <laughs> we've been there before for plenty of <laughs> concerts, but it's not that far from Philly when I run different classes in Philly. and. You can always hop in the horse and buggy and come on down. Right, Zip right. Over. And also, of course, you guys both have, I mean, it, 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 it does make a difference when someone could come to the class and yeah, sit right. with you because you can do one-on-one -on -one instruction. But even if you can't, you can get, you can get either one of these guys uh, instruction online. You can and, download and my entire studio lighting class. You yeah. have a class. You have classes basically DVD style. They're digital Downloadable. downloads now, yeah. yeah. Studiolightingessentials.com, or you can just go to markwallaceworkshops.com. You can just Google Mark Wallace Studio Lighting. They're well you worth can, it. The amount of yeah. information that is, that is in, in those downloads is incredible. Yeah, and then I also have, uh, I've done two creative lives, one on speed lights, one on uh, the anatomy of a photo shoot, which is like budgeting, planning, executing a shoot, post-production, working with clients, uh, working with makeup artists, hairstylists, um, wardrobe stylists, all that. So those are out there. You can download those. Um, but then, and then the free videos. I think we added it up. I'm not sure how many videos I've done, but I, I think it's approaching 300 and something. I don't know, but it's uh, but they're all over there on Sikonic. Well, we got Wizard, multiple people wanting you guys to also come out to Portland, Oregon. So well, we may just have to set up a traveling, you know, education. I, well, we did a tour last year, uh, actually earlier this year. Yeah, um, they're difficult because they're expensive. They yeah. are. That's that's why when it's, I do them, right. it's like a fly date for a weekend. Right. And you and you hold, you hold one class for like 25 people. And then you, yeah, and the, so my style is when I, I'm doing a workshop one on one, I like to maximize those classes to maybe, if it's studio lighting, six people. Because more than that, you can't teach. No. Because people are doing stuff. Or if it's a, uh, a photography workshop, 12 people. But it's totally financially um, oh. impossible to do that. There is a booth babe walking by. Hello, oh, booth babe. I awesome like your hat. hat. I like your hat. <laughs> <laughs> She's ignoring me. I wonder why. And we got fans out. What could be the problem, bro? She walked by. I said hello. There's another. Hello, I like your hat. I like your hat. Yeah, the the classes, the one people, you know, we teach online. There's only so much you can do in a video. Yeah. When you get somebody in person, we feed off of their questions because it's we we can't always go back to when we were beginning. You can't do this and say, oh, you don't understand this. Let me just show you. Because we don't know you can't understand that because it's going to be seen sometimes a year or two later. Absolutely. They live on. Let's, you know, before we go on, let's just talk about something. Because you're on YouTube, you're online, you're on Facebook. I just have a question. Yes. Why, why are people so mean on YouTube? You mean, well, that's because YouTube... They're mean. YouTube has given people the anonymity. Yeah. They can hide behind their name and they put in a dislike button. You shouldn't be able to dislike anything. Yeah, but yeah, it makes I mean, me cry can. some days. I, oh, I, we, I, we had this discussion on the video when you yeah, interviewed me. It doesn't make me cry, but I, I, I started to uh, stop reading comments for a while because it's just like... And guess what? Let me tell you guys yeah. a philosophy I have. Yes. Okay? If, uh, and this, this is kind of controversial because people, some people don't think you should do this at all, but I absolutely believe in moderating comments. Oh, and we do, And I will yeah. do it not only on my website, but I will do it on my YouTube channel because yeah. that is your YouTube yes. channel. They're not paying for it. They have right. their own. They can say whatever they want. You can't come on mine and rip on me. So I think what happens is in any environment, humans have kind of a herd mentality at times. And so yeah. what will happen is if you put up a comment, if you put Absolutely. up a video and someone makes a negative comment, a lot, a lot of people feel brave yeah. to just say, oh, yeah, I agree, and they hop yeah. on board. And they don't but even know you, what they're talking about. Yeah, well, if somebody if you says to me, it, you know, I don't, I, your teaching wasn't clear, or I didn't understand this, or this wasn't different. the best video, the audio wasn't so good, you know, well, those things I'm not going to take off. But that's if they're fair. derogatory, especially to a guest Insulting. or to a model. Delete like, it. Yeah, it's out of there. And just then, delete and, it. And then they're like, why did you delete me? But we don't have to go down the negativity. No. No, the, no. The, yeah, but so what we do, though. But you know what it does? I screen capture, like, the outrageous comments, and I have a collection on my laptop of about 50 
And we were going to do t-shirts with the crazy comments. Then you get sued. They'd be like, that's my comment. Well, I no, you. they'd be like, oh, they're just going to make a negative comment just to get in on the t-shirt. So we didn't do that. But maybe one day I'll write a, a memoir of, By the way, like, here's the comments. Kill Kenny Katz. Ryan? Says, yes, moderating comments is good for all, so we don't have to see all the hate spewed comments. Ryan, yeah. speaking of Portland, Ryan used to live in Portland. The and 90s the, are so alive there. Andy yeah, says, Portland is always like the, the moderate. mecca for unemployed 20-year-olds. It's awesome. Always <laughs> moderate. Don't let the trolls win. And Knight D 427 trolls. says, constructive criticism is fine. Yes. Yeah. But if there's nothing nice to say, then don't say anything. Didn't your mama yeah. teach you that? Anyway. Yeah. So what's, what's new? What's coming up next for you? Well, there's we some two things. minutes. Two minutes. Okay, here's, here's what's new. StudioLightingEssentials.com is uh, the digital download for uh, my studio lighting workshop. And uh, we've had great success with that, but what we're gonna do now is we've had people, especially on Strobox and places like that, please make like a playbook or some kind of uh, just lighting diagrams. Here's a photo, here's a lighting diagram. Here's how we do How'd it. you do it? So we're doing that. Um, it's been in production and it's gonna be very low cost. I think we're gonna price these at like 10 bucks, something like that. And hopefully they'll be published once a month or so. And all different styles of photography and we can just say, here's how we did it. Um, and instead of one shot, It'll be multiple shots, so you can see the ones that didn't work as well as the one that did. I mean, so my, my question for you is how many people are on your team? How many people are behind Snap Factory and you? Like, what's it look like? Uh, Kelsey Hazelwood is our producer. Matt Madrid is our uh, videographer. Uh, Michael Hamm uh, worked for us for a long time. He was a graphic designer. He moved to uh, uh, San Francisco. He's not there. Aaron Marcus is our creative director. So it's a number of people. And then we have some contract employees. The great Z helps us a lot. Uh, he's in here in New York. So it, it, it helps it, to have a team. I mean, I have a, it's a team. small, like, yeah. it's literally like two of us. It's Ari right. and I, and, and a web guy. Oh, I guess it's pretty, it's, it's a couple people. Right. But you need to have that. The people don't realize what it goes into running a lot. these websites. Right. Yeah, it's a lot. We have a lot of, of uh, turnaround that we have to, to do. Um, and, you know, things like Creative Live, they have a staff of 30-ish people. Yeah. Let me just squirt I, this into my face. Yeah. I was trying to figure that one out. <laughs> it could be vodka. <laughs> okay. And there you go. It's been a rough night. Right. No. <laughs> I mean, no, strike that. It's family friendly, right? <laughs> hey, Whatever Mark, works. Thank you so much for spending some more time with us today. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Love having you on. Awesome. We're, you, you are welcome to come back anytime. You can guest host. You can take my position if you want because my voice is not going to hold out all yeah, day. Yeah, I, I didn't think I would be there. But thanks. <laughs> I know you got to move on. Um, Good luck to you. We'll see you. Thank you very much for coming on again. All right, guys. Snap everybody, Factory. Everybody tell Mark. Adios. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.